become one with the divine. That goat that we saw on the beach keeps following us. Maybe we stay in the med for forever. Or... You like the cool place? such a beautiful morning. We came here to escape the swell because there was swell forecast in Santa Ponta where we left where we had the boat before and we weren't sure if this was going to be protected or not and it turns out it is and it's such a good find. This is what the med is about for me, kind of like coming into a little cove like this and it's protected and hear the crickets and it's just beautiful. Find a good spot. Check. Step three. Yog. Become one with the divine. <laughs> <laughs> And just like that, we got our own free session of goat yoga. And yes, believe it or not, it's a thing. People pay a lot of money for goat yoga. You did? By yeah. jellyfish? I don't know. I couldn't see anything, but I stung my wrist. Oh no. Just across there. Oh man. Really bad? Yeah, quite bad. Like, I wouldn't want it to happen again. <laughs> Do you want it? <laughs> I already peed. <laughs> I just made this delicious, ridiculous brownie and it is indulgent as hell. It's basically just chocolate and sugar and peanut butter, but it tastes so good. Mm. That is good. That afternoon, we had a good time hanging out with some friends of ours in the Anchorage, who Lars introduced to some freediving fundamentals. Besides freediving being a great activity in itself, it's also a really useful skill to have when living on a boat. You never know when you might next drop a tool overboard or get your anchor chain tangled. We sometimes also do yoga on deck together. There's just about enough room for both of us to do it, but as you can see, it's not always the easiest with the movement of the boat and it being a small space. I'm really quite proud of these summer rolls. Tofu, veggie, and we've got a peanut butter sauce over there. Good morning. So we've woken up to another load of Saharan dust. Don't know if you can see it so well here, but <laughs> Our poor solar panel. I started cleaning it off.
just going for a paddleboard. And this is risky taking the camera out. <laughs> After Lars showing off his headstand SUP skills in the last anchorage, I was keen to step up to the plate. <laughs> Just had food. Ta, 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 ta. <laughs> we're going to the beach for some frisbee because we're too full. How? But what do you mean? How embarrassing? You mean only children play with frisbees? No, just do that with your face. Oh. What are you like the cool police? just made homemade sourdough vegan pizza. <laughs> Niche. Mm. What's about it? It's really good. Mm. Ooh, this one's a little bit flabby. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually really impressed with these. Mm -hmm. oh. And it wasn't too difficult either. Mm -mm. Just make the same dough that we make for bread, really, and then just lay it out flat and add stuff. So good. Yeah, red any next time we bake a show. Yeah. The swell comes in. Yeah, we uh, we're planning on staying here today, but the winds shifted a bit earlier than we expected, so now we've got to leave. This morning we realized that the wind shifted. We're thinking we might have to move the boat some point later today. And then immediately we were like, oh, we should probably go to land and also come for a walk because we'd seen this walk a few days ago. And we were like, yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. And it just goes to show like, you don't actually ever know how long you're gonna have in a place. So you should probably seize the opportunity when you get it. So here we are. We've decided to just come for an impromptu walk and no regrets, it's beautiful here. You see that there's like a coastal path from your anchorage and you're like, this is awesome. We've just continued for about half an hour and it takes you to another cove, which you can only get to on foot. So there's just no one here and you're just surrounded by the sound of crickets. Hmm. I was going to say, there's something distinctly med about crickets, pine, rosemary, this color rock, mm. and then these little coves. It's going to be hard to leave. Yeah, I was already thinking that as we were walking. I was like, maybe we don't have to leave. Maybe we stay in the med for Forever? more, more time. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we just come back. Maybe if we leave and come back, we'll appreciate it doubly. True. Grows the thorn in the thorns. Make a big crown. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Behind the tree, right? He's got proper animals. Yeah. <laughs> We're just chatting. We're just catching up, you know. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, that's good. Do you head back? Mm -hmm. This is my color. <laughs> what started out as a friendly catch-up 
quickly took a sinister turn, and before we knew it, we were being chased out of the area by Senor Billy Goat, who actually was way bigger up close. That goat that we saw on the beach keeps following us. Well, I mean, it keeps sneaking up on us. We're like, oh, we've left him. And then he keeps popping out of nowhere, catching up with us. Oh my gosh. And he really smells strong. But I think he was marking his territory earlier. So we didn't really want to disturb. We knew we'd only be in this anchorage for a few days before needing to head back to the larger town for good 4G, work and errands. So we maximised our time by doing every activity on offer. All the things we love about being on the boat in the Med. Thanks for watching this far and see you next time to explore the northern coast of Mallorca.